the Synod on Synodality is all about creating the impression that the Catholic world, that all of us, we really care about this stuff. But actually the changes are what Francis wants. It's like true dictator behavior. But I'm hopeful that in my lifetime uh, that there will be some meaningful change. And it's unfortunate that we still have, and I will call them factions within the church that want to hold back the change that needs to happen, particularly for our young people. He's going to radically transform and change the church so that it can never be turned changed back. The entire game plan, what he wants to do, he wants to claim that all of these changes are going to be the result of two years of listening to the people, to the sheep. Guide your life by what God has already revealed to us, right? That's what I thought it was all about. Not the musings and rantings of dysfunctional people who want to be listened to because they just don't think it's fair. And no one's listening to me. That's an obstreperous little brat. Francis has appointed a woman, which is part of the whole process of redefining the priesthood, redefining the ministry, if you will. The Vatican II was a complete failure. Keep the commandments if you want to earn heaven. Now, that's a paraphrase of scripture. Which parts of the catechism should be knocked out? Which part of scripture, which books of the Bible would you like to have taken out? The church needs to listen up and change her teachings on one of the sins that cries to heaven for vengeance, and then all will be well, you see. You have no intention of listening to us, do you, Excellency? The answer is to go back to the Catholic faith. The thing Francis is trying to destroy, by the way. Doctrine, dogma, the mass, God, the Bible, make the church plenty relevant, your Excellencies, your Holiness.